the giver. Societal norms with vulnerability, emotion, and individualism. What are societal norms? Well, according to UNICEF, an American humanitarian aid organization, societal norms are the perceived informal, mostly unwritten, rules that define acceptable and appropriate actions within a given group or community, thus guiding our human behaviors. These societal norms are also present in The Giver, a world where the life where nothing was ever unexpected or inconvenient or unusual, the life without color, pain, or past. In other words, The Giver is a place where society pressures you into no emotional identity or emotional expression. The idea where nothing is unexpected goes to show the sameness or the lack of individualism within the community. These same ideas reflect onto our societal norms today. Emotional expression. Currently in our world, the idea of modern masculinity is very similar. According to Krista Andy, a world-renowned professor for mental health, and she found that emotional expressions have been shown to be gendered, and being a boy or a girl is often connected to stereotypes concerning what to display when doing gender. And many boys are socialized to hide weakness and conceal expressions of emotional vulnerability. The courage to be vulnerable, philosophical considerations. The idea of modern masculinity, which is a societal norm prevalent today, is to conceal all emotional expression and emotional identity. Emotional expression should be viewed as a strength because it makes us unique and separates us from others. This reflects on the giver because from a young age, they are taught to suppress their emotions and only allow happiness. Vulnerability. And this is my stimulus material. Marcus Thompson II wrote an article about Simone Biles and the public perception of Simone Biles quitting due to being vulnerable in her mental health situation and identified that Simone Biles knew she was bucking against the ingrained culture and the con condemnation would come because she's dealt with this dynamic her whole career. Now, this clearly goes to show that society frowns on vulnerability and expressing your vulnerabilities. This connects to the giver where society frowns on emotion and vulnerability. Simone Biles' story also relates to a more present story in recent times about a rower named Maggie Barrett because Farrah was depressed. Her parents could tell by her grades, but her teachers, her coaches, and friends couldn't tell at all. And that was the worst part. Isolated from her team because of her injury, Farrah didn't know anyone at UNC well enough to share what she was going through. She felt miserable and invisible. This quote furthers the idea of vulnerability because sometimes people feel invisible and they don't have anyone to lean on to. This quote also furthers the idea that society neglects emotional expression and views vulnerability as a weakness. This next slide shows the overwhelming amount of hate that Simone Biles received for quitting and societal norms go against quitting and emotional expression, which this clearly worsened her mental state. Individualism. A summary of many well-known studies was conducted on the relationship between conformity to societal norms, and all of them had one common idea, that conformity limits individuality by promoting social uniformity and inhibiting unique expression, and that excessive conformity suppresses individuality, restricting freedom of thought and expression. In more simple words, conforming with societal norms leads to a loss of uniqueness and everyone being the same. Individuality today is frowned on because individualism today is seen as separation from the norm of the group. Five, or four, counterpoint. A person with an opposing view on this topic may bring up that societal norms are good for society, that they benefit society. Well, according to the French sociologist, Emily Durkheim, anomaly describes a state of complete normlessness, a society completely devoid of cohesion. When a society loses its norms, it descends into chaos. Anomaly is a society without its glue. In other words, societal norms are a necessity in a functioning society. 
Now this relates to the giver because they would have these societal norms to keep society organized. Six, rebuttal slash solution. According to Alyssa Moore, an expert in psychology, she found that not conforming creates a possibility of anarchy or developmental issues within humans. In order to have a functioning society, it must practice a balance of both. While conformity has its perks and individuality and uniqueness, in the end, it can, it can diminish one's individuality and uniqueness. In other words, currently, societal norms are bad because they suppress individuality, vulnerability, and emotion. However, society norms are a necessity for a functioning society. And the giver, they didn't realize this. They need to change their societal norms to benefit the people. Just happiness is bad. Conclusion. Overall, societal norms reduce emotional expression, vulnerability, and individuality. Slash. This reflects on the giver, where society pressures people into a lack of emotional expression, which doesn't make them unique and removes their emotional identity at a young age, just like modern masculinity. Only expressing happiness reduces emotional identity and uniqueness. Societal norms today are bad, but they are a necessity to society. If societal norms are reformed, they would benefit society because they would allow a functioning community with uniqueness and emotional identity. I'm done. Terrific. Thanks, Mason. I got a couple of questions for you, and then we can wrap up. Okay. Uh, how did your research question evolve or change as you moved through the process? Was this the question you started with originally, or did things change? Uh, can you please, please repeat that, please? Sure. How did your research question change as you moved through the process? Was this the original question you started with, or did things change as you researched? So, at first I kind of focused on an emotional point of view, and I didn't have the idea of the giver. I wanted to look at it through an emotional perspective, but then I changed it through a societal norms perspective, because I really thought that societal norms were linked to emotional, emotional expression, vulnerability, and individualism, and I didn't think of the idea of individualism until recently on break, so. Okay. And then as a follow-up to that, uh, what are the implications of your findings to the broader community? Like, how could your classmates or the school feel differently about this issue based on what your conclusions were? All right, so my conclusion is that societal norms today should be changed. So I think as a community, we should change societal norms to allow for emotional expression, especially in an all-boys school where boys are known for, like, the idea of modern masculinity where we're taught to suppress our emotions from a young age and we should change that to allow emotional expression and emotional identity. Okay. Terrific. Hey, you were right at eight minutes.